every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Melt me, mold me, fill me, use me. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. In the African American religious tradition, there are many spiritual songs and hymns that attest to the presence of the Holy Spirit in the lives of the community. Such songs as Spirit of the Living God, Every Time I Feel the Spirit, I'm Gonna Move When the Spirits Say Move, and There's a Sweet Spirit, describes the power and presence of the Holy Spirit to move and animate a community of faith as well as individual persons. I'm reminded of these songs as I read and pray with the Acts of the Apostles, and in particular, the Pentecost events described in our first reading today from Acts chapter 2. The Holy Spirit is so evident and present in the Acts of the Apostles that it could even be called the Gospel of the Holy Spirit. And many scholars have done just that. The Holy Spirit as described in the Acts of the Apostles is a living spirit that moves the community from fear to fearlessness, from faltering to faith, from powerlessness to passionate power. The Spirit transformed individuals into an inclusive community that then became a missionary church. Today, in many of our Christian churches, it is custom for members of the congregation to wear red to celebrate Pentecost event which is the author whom we call Luke describes as tongues of fire. Even today, many will still wear red in solidarity with one another during this time of physical and social distancing. We will be reminded that the Pentecost event was experienced by peoples of many races and ethnicities during difficult times. Every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. As people of faith, living during a time of pandemic, we are called to pray and to listen to the Holy Spirit, which will move us to right action. We have seen how social media has been used to bring communities together for prayer, in song, to teach and preach, through spiritual practices such as global rosaries, novenas, and contemplative practices in retreats. We have already witnessed during this time how communities and individuals have responded to the needs of the poor, the recently unemployed, the sick, and our elders, our brothers and our sisters. We have now begun to slow down and maybe even listen to the Spirit and respond to the needs of our communities. We are reminded in our second reading today, Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, that we are all one body and through the power of the Holy Spirit, we are one, and that our gifts are to be used for one another. I'm going to move when the spirits say move. I'm going to move when the spirits say move. When the spirits say move, I'm going to move, oh Lord. I'm going to move when the spirit Say move. In today's gospel, 
Jesus said, as my father sent me, now I send you. And he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. The Spirit moved them to let go of their fear and to be persons of mission. In these days, we are so in need of that spirit of fearlessness. Many are afraid of what is to come. As Jesus has reminded us again and again, do not worry, I am with you. We cannot predict the future, but we can allow ourselves to be open to receiving that sweet Holy Spirit that will give us the strength and courage for the days ahead. St. Irenaeus of Lyons, one of the first theologians of the Christian church, states that the Spirit came down with power to open the gates of life to all the nations and to make known to them the new covenant. He further writes that in baptism, we have become one in body and through the Holy Spirit, we become one in soul. These are powerful and transformative words. Do we truly believe that we are of one body and through the power of the Holy Spirit, one soul? How are we preparing today to receive the Holy Spirit? Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us. Melt us, mold us, fill us, use us. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us. This song, Spirit of the Living God, ends with the invocation to ask the Spirit to melt us, mold us, fill us, use us. As people of faith, we must be open to trusting the Holy Spirit to shape us, fill us, and use us. As we journey during this time of pandemic, may we, like those first disciples in the upper room, be open to the coming of the Holy Spirit, and may that Spirit use us and transform us for the good of all. Finally, on this Pentecost, I leave you with the words of Servant of God, Sister Thea Bowman. If you believe that the Spirit that lived in Jesus, that the Spirit that lived in the disciples, that the Spirit that moved in the early church is the same Spirit you received in your baptism and confirmation. Say amen. If you believe that you, like Jesus, are called by the Spirit to share the Spirit in the world, to call forth the giftedness of God's people, say amen. And if you believe that the Spirit of God is able to transform the water of your reality into the purest wine. If you believe there is nothing God can't do, say amen, amen, amen. Happy Pentecost.